Hey, what is happening? What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you enjoy the video. What I'm going to do in this video is, it could be a helpful one. By the title, obviously you clicked on it. It's how to array lights in Blender. So, this is like, so you don't have to individually add a light. If you've got like a massive scene, obviously I don't have one here. This is just a default setup, but if you've got like a huge scene and you want to add lots of lights and yeah, in a row or yeah, you just want to add lots of lights. Let me show you how to do it. Because if you add a light and you've got a ray modifier, it won't work. So it's actually really easy. Let me show you how to do it. Let's jump into it. So first thing you want to do is go to Edit, Preferences, go to Add-ons, and type in Extra, and enable Extra Objects, the Mesh one. You can add the Curve, but it's not going to apply to this. But it's helpful to have this as well. So probably check both, and then just hit save preferences and then what you want to do is go shift a go to mesh and look for single vert and add a single vert okay nothing really happens you can see this is anything that comes up if you zoom in we've got a single vert to see so next thing you want to do is go add a tab so hit tab go shift a get a light so if you want a point light grab that click on it okay now what you want to do is click on the vert and then hold down shift and click on the point light so we select both and then hit control p on your keyboard so go here control p set parent to object and now you can see we've set parent to the object and now when we array it will work when i show you how to do it it's actually really easy okay now if you want to array now it's easy so click on the vert and then before you go to and before you create an array modifier you want to click here Go to Object Properties, go to Instancing, and change this from None to Vertices. And now you can go to Array Modifier, so click on it, go to Modifier, Search Array, Add it, and then what you want to do is uncheck Relative Offset, you don't need it. Instead you want to use Constant Offset, so bring it down, you can see we've already arrayed one. And now, if I go back here, you can add another one, so that's the distance, let's make it one. You can change the count. Boom, 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 boom. And then you can even change the X, the Y, and the Z, so Y. Move it from side to side. And then Z brings it up like that. Check how cool that will look. Then if you go here to X, you can see, if you've got a Y, look how cool that's looking. So let's bring it down back to 1, to 0, it's flat, and then you can go G, and you can bring it up, the lights up, like that, boom, you can still add more counts, boom, 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 and there we go, so it's that easy to array lights in Blender, hopefully you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video, peace.